All right, people, welcome back. More D and Dual commentary. So we are joined by Rennie. What's up? So, of course, uh, you saw a lot of Rennie last week. Rennie was here last week, but uh, when it comes to tagging with Tiago, of course, Tiago doesn't speak. So uh, Rennie is always here as the co-host to uh, make sure that the channel goes smoothly because the end of commentary. I've done it by myself, but it's kind of boring, you know? Yeah. I get kind of quiet, and when I get quiet, you know, what's the point? <laughs> exactly. You're just watching two people suck. I mean, duel. Oh, god damn. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, look them there. heroes, though. Ugh. <laughs> look, look at that life with us. <laughs> if you can bust out that dank while I'm protecting them. Look at all that back row. Oh, all that back row. All that back row. Oh. So we got <laughs> many 952. At only uh, 639, but with all that back, we might be able to pull something off. For real. And then we got Dario Bone. He's going to give you that Dario Bone. I was giving this ass. You can give me <laughs> that bone. 81. Yeah, you uh, can give me that bone. Wait. Oh, he said wait. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, pay your half your life points. Summon that, uh, that Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist effect. Response. You got you got four back row. Uh, he just said break your skin. He, he said wait, Nick. Wait. 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 <laughs> Come on. Oh. I know we're this waiting. Man, we're waiting. waiting. We're still waiting. Yeah. This man is seriously thinking. <laughs> Refresh it. <laughs> seriously thinking. As I said, if you want to activate something, go ahead. But just keep in mind, he might have something to change. Here, he might have the mask changed in his hand. So right. he could hop out the way. Mm -hmm. And then Shadow Miss, instead of getting its search effect. Well, actually, didn't he already technically activate this effect? Yeah, he did. So... He would hop out the way and then mm -hmm. still resolve, so he would get another mass change as well. Right. That's totally what you need. Is not only a dark law, but then a mass change with the dark law, so you can mass change the dark law and the dark law and the Anki uh, in the dark no, law. No, but but no, he said it's cool. All right, continue then. <laughs> All right, he's like, nah. So I'll you're gonna you're gonna do it now. Or you're gonna wait. Probably you gotta wait. Yeah, just poke him for a thousand and wait. Mm -hmm. That way you can get that search on next turn. Exactly. Say it's smart. So. Half your life points. It's a nice thing for. I said half, half isn't a finite number, and while half generally we think it's four thousand because you'll play it early in the game. Right. It could always be. How many times have your opponent been like barely any life points left and, and freaking a hero lived? <laughs> yeah, true. I've done that a couple times too. But I mean, when you open up with it, it's eight thousand is like, Ugh, but I need it. Ooh. Oh. I was with all that the back, back row. row. It's the same thing. Like, damn. Like, a hero guy, Bone? Oh, yeah, I expect that. But Cosmos? Yeah. Like, what, what, are you, what are you playing? You know what? I, I think I know what he's playing. I think what? I know what he's playing. He's playing Artifact Cosmos. Yeah, that's actually a thing now. I was just going to say that. That's a thing now? That's a thing now. Okay, I guess. Wow, and you let Miss die. Why didn't he change Did that? He let Miss die. I hope you got a plan, bro. I hope you got a plan. I... I said I'm assuming that he wants to get that bubbly man and mass change the bubbly man to wipe that back row, but I think in the back rows, they're probably artifacts, because Cosmos don't set that much. It has to be artifacts. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah, they're starting to splash in the one morale tag and the scythe, so you can't special summon from the extra deck. Uh, of course, they're level 5 light, so XE, they're a slip rider with uh, Pleiades, uh -huh. and to Pleiades, XE and Pleiades, and uh, uh, Tribute, Tribute. If they, in case they get stuck, and they're trying to play, uh, or at least side Monarch Storm Fourth as well. Damn, <laughs> they're just getting real dirty with it, ain't they? Mm -hmm. So they'll be like Monarch Storm Fourth, tribute your monster for an artifact monster, raw attack effect pop, and with uh, of course with a uh, Twin Twister about to come out or Twin Whirlpool, mm -hmm. you know, instead of just being like, all right, absolutely Whirlpool because I know it's a sol uh, uh, you know a solemn strike. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, oh, you might have hit that artifact. Like, yeah. So, not bad. It's not bad. I made capital G. I'll put up a video about it, discussing it. So now, since I see all the background and I see it's Cosmos, I wouldn't be surprised. So you're gonna eat that Mirror Force, even though we don't see Mirror Force that often. All right, gonna go ahead and hop out the way. Oh, the dank for the dank. Yeah. Yep. I thought he didn't. Have... So dank's gonna go ahead and go off. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's no monster to pop, but full effect. Who are you gonna go into? Forerunner, Slip Rider. Who? Probably gonna pop the back row. That's what I would do. You gonna go train stuff right here? Oh, mm -hmm. Forerunner. It's not terrible. I mean, I guess Dark Claw can't go over it, but like I said, I have a pretty good feeling that he's gonna go Bubble Man Mass Change into uh Acid. Acid. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is his name? He's gonna do some acid and Wait a minute, these things are based off comrades and you know their names? <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like none of them. Just because they're Denklaw. They were I, nope. I was right. Uh damn. I was right. Mm -hmm. I said I didn't mind them, but then uh, since I had Dark Claw, I was like, "Boo, no!" What comrade is that anyway? Off the top of my mind, I'm not really sure. Yeah, 
they're not really too detailed, so I'd, I'd probably have to. It's probably on the wiki. At the top of my mind, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, okay. The only one that's like super obvious is Contrast Hero. Oh. Uh. What is he, that double guy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that's mm-hmm. just too obvious. Right. All you did was just kind of flip the colors. <laughs> double wasn't a bad common writer. Wasn't my favorite, but wasn't bad. I wouldn't even put him in my top five. But Damn. No. Ouch. I wouldn't even put him in my top <laughs> five. The intro was kind of lame. I didn't like the female character. And you had Philip who dressed like a faggot, so... Damn, I don't think you could say that on the internet. <laughs> Have you not seen him? No, I don't want it. I'll show you. I'll show you right now, and you'll be like, "What the fuck?" Like that's a common writer. Like, yep. <laughs> and it's like, why is he dressed like that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh look, they're done siding. Yep, they're done siding. Common writer, double Philip. I just don't know what he's going to side against Cosmos. He can try. Some bullshit. Now you can't even pop back row again. I hated that shit. When artifacts was an engine. Mm-hmm. I hated that shit. Cause you was like, I want to pop, but then I don't know. You know. Yeah, that don't look like no dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's the outfit and everything. <laughs> Damn son, this nigga pitched his machine. I mean, he's pretty much gonna get the same exact play. I know, but damn. All right. There was no other spell card you wanted to pitch? He's like, I'm going to get another one anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, that was upstart. If I were you, I probably would have pitched the upstart. Well, that's two mass yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. I would have hella pitched the upstart <laughs> all day. So, so many over here is hella net decking. <laughs> hella net decking, because I heard it did pretty well in this past uh, YCS slash regional. The uh, artifact. Uh, what regional was that? Uh, I don't even... Uh, Las Vegas Regional? Yeah, that's what it was, right? The so, one I didn't go to. We didn't go. Because no. we didn't know. Uh, uh, oh, classic it, play. Is that freaking... Diamond? Yep. Oh, Tied. that. That's Patalamas. Patalamas, and then during the going to attach yeah. diamond. It's a key material. See how much it is. Woo, baby. Oh, there you go. And I got one, too. Oh, for real. Well, yep, classic play. Turn him into uh, Shadow Myth and then turn him into Durandal. All right? Am I right? Tell me I'm right. Mm-hmm. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm fucking right. Yep. <laughs> what does that thing do? Does that negate effects or something? Uh, once per turn, yeah, activate effects when a monster effect or spell or trap. Normal spell or trap card is that normal? It says normal? It does say normal. I never noticed that. Mm-hmm. Normal trap card is activated. You can change the card's effect to read destroy one of your opponent's back row. So instead of something fucking up his monsters, he can just switch it to say fuck up your opponent's back row. Also, he can use Durandal. His second effect mm-hmm. is that you can attach him to uh, to shuffle, make uh, each player shuffle their hands back into their deck mm-hmm. and then redraw the maximum cards. Dark will go off and pick something out of your hand. Oh, damn. <laughs> and once the again, dirt. we just see the artifacts. On the real uh, the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ha, ah, you can do the artifacts, I can do the artifacts too, Dude, Durandal. Uh, I don't I don't think I've ever seen artifacts play Durandal. Really? Most of the time they, they go into it. Most of the time they go into Pleiades, though. <laughs> True. Yep, second effect. So put them two cards back, shuffle them, draw two, and then Darkwell will just be like, alright, now take one. Mm-hmm. How's that sound? I'm actually surprised you didn't do that earlier in the turn. <laughs> you let him set all that black row. True, but he's already set up, so... Yep, he's completely set up. Now, like I said, I'm just wondering what the back row is, because, yeah, uh, he doesn't have any XC materials on Durandal anymore, so... Uh, so there's Sanctum back there. Sanctum, some raw attack, pop that uh, Dark Log, gone. Mm-hmm. So hopefully that back row is something to save you. But don't worry, that won't be the plan anymore. You won't you won't be seeing the Ptolemaeus into Durandal. You'll be seeing the Ptolemaeus into the Nova, into the Infinity. Not a real. You have to do with Infinity in Dark Law, and you just be like, oh Oh my god. (laughs) Uh, So he just passes, and and Uh there is the Sanctum. Uh Vanities. I I was was just about to say, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. They do play Ignition. They do play Ignition. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. I'm saying, does he have the remix to Ignition? (laughs) Fresh Fresh out the kitchen. And you have to hit Vanities if Mm -hmm. you want to resolve your Sanctum. Don't hit the other card because Vanities starts a separate chain. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah. Ah, Vanities. Such a dirty card. I just think it was set up perfectly, too. Such a dirty card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vanity's gonna give you the bone. Like, what do you think is under this white coin? <laughs> what do you think is under there? There's a reason why Konami had to censor it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Put the ignition. 
Unless you don't have it. Unless you, if you don't have it, then that's probably that's a game. game. Yeah. But if you do, then this duel shall continue. There it is. Mm-hmm. There it is. I was like, I know hey, yeah, the ignition. There we go. So ignition, go ahead and set. Uh, I, I wonder how many artifacts they run. I'm, I'm assuming they run size and one raw type, but I'm wondering if they run. Uh, I forgot his name. The red one. Uh-huh. The red one. What is his name? Uh-huh. Oh my god. I want to say it starts with a B. Oh my god, I can't remember his name. Scythe, Moral Talk, and. Blah, 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 blah. I don't I can't remember. For the love of God, I can't remember his name. Oh well. Beal Talk. Is that his name? I, I'm going to say off the top of my mind, I'm going to say that's his name. Alright. So. I mean. Bone is still okay. Emergency teleport during the end phase? But wouldn't you just get it banished immediately? Before you can even use anything? Uh-huh. Oh, there's I guess there's multiple points in the end phase, so I guess you still activate the effect. Space time. Hey, that sounds pretty bad. Girl, <laughs> I heard you like these thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How much is space time? It went down. Yeah, it's decent. Oh. It's decent for a card to that uh, caliber. Yep. Got you got missing your hand. Why are you draw? Because he's scooping. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we are going to game three, people. The side was real. You think so? I think he sided in time space. I think he is what he put in. It's only heroes. They'd probably just have the hate just to have the hate. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to summon a monster from your hand or extra deck anyway. So I think he's probably main decking it. Uh, Especially with uh, Pepe and... Magic Spectre and Cosmos, you can hit all three of them with it. Oh. Then why is it so low? I don't know. Maybe got to reprint it or something? Maybe it's easier to obtain? Oh, didn't, like, Great Horn come out already or not? Great Horn's out. It's common. Yeah, but is that why? Because who are you, think, maybe, who are you people, people using pro- I think people would probably still prefer Space Time. Because Great Horn doesn't really affect Cosmos. It doesn't really do inherent summons like that. Well, Space Time hits everybody. If I was playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd probably, I'd probably put it in. But, nah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. It's tempting, <laughs> but I'm done. Especially in Cleese, like, I can't pay all their life points. I'm already playing fucking, help put my helmet on 800, 800, 800. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I can't pay the fucking <laughs> thousand, that's after a thousand like that. Especially, especially if you pendulum summon five. You pendulum mm-hmm. summon five, you either pay five thousand, which will probably kill me, or I don't, and you, all the monsters are gonna get me, and I die either way. Exactly. So. Yeah. But it, it seems like it would be a good main deck, yeah. Especially in Cleese, with all the hate. Yeah. You know, main deck three of that, maybe side deck, uh, the Great Horns, just in case you go against uh, the Pepe, the Magic Specters, mm-hmm. so you can go ahead and put those in there too, and just hate, hatred. Okay. You good with that? Alright. Yep. I'm mm-hmm. so tired of this deck's plays. Why? Wow, they're consistent and good. <laughs> Look at fucking hero players whining because Rota went down to one. That's the last deck I want to hear <sighs> fucking whine about fucking Rota one. Take more Rota. See you go. Mm. Right. I didn't know. I thought this could only stop inherent summons. I said when they're supposed to summon. Do an airport movement when they would special summon a monster. It is special summon monster. Yeah, but I thought it can only stop inherent summons. And um, didn't you not realize that when you Great Horn, you go to the next phase? So I'm assuming this is all in main phase two. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. I'll assume that it's all in main phase two because that would be weird. More space. All right. Oh, yeah. There, that's that's the side. Mm-hmm. And put it around the wall, but of course, you know, Cosmos do have the outs to that, especially uh. Artifact. You told me artifacts when it came back. I wouldn't have believed you. Me I'm neither. Gonna, I'm gonna believe you. Like with only one more attack, what's the point? But they're doing it. Yeah. They're going with scythe. 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 I don't get two scythe next to each other. Hold them in hand. Scythe. <laughs> yeah, I think this only stops inherent summon. So I'm not even sure if that was a legal play. You can look it up. Yeah. You, you don't care enough. I mean, I should, because I think last time I left something alone. 
that someone disliked the video. We're like, oh, disliking the video because something wasn't resolved. It's like, really? Uh, That's not my job. Bro, it's not our job. We're just watching and commentating. Yeah, do I look like a judge? I mean, a little bit. Even though we could take the test and pass it with flying colors if we wanted to, but I ain't got time for that. I call, I call, I I have what you call a life. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time to be judging Yu Gi Oh! Fuck that shit. Great horn of heaven, non. This E hero guy still in the hole, though. (laughs) Still in the hole. There's how many monsters? Inherent. How do you spell it? Inherent? Damn it. Non in. Uh-huh. Let's see. Top deck. Top deck of the gods. Yu Gi Oh, nigga. Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! Nah, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. No, doesn't look like it. You ain't got shit. It's over. You finna beat your ass. Wrong nigga, you stalled him. Yeah, it says that it only stops inherent summons. So, uh, that was not an inherent summon. That was clearly a a, a trigger summon off of uh, Goblinburg. Yeah, Goblinburg. So, oh well. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. Shit, See, by the t- at least we know, but oh well. Shit, by the time that I searched it up, this game is already in irreparable game state. Exactly, so. so. Oh ah, well. No, oh well, not my problem. Exactly. Woo, that hero lives. You do the math. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said that shit too. You do the math. <laughs> oh, God. I bet he's busting out the calculator right now. Yep, there you go. <laughs> All right, but I'm still got some back row, though, so. We gonna see. We gonna see. Is this the farm girl from last duel? Because I haven't seen a farm girl all duel. And, no, uh, he put it back to his hand with, or put it back to the deck with Cosmotar. I didn't even see farm girl. I must have not been paying attention. Yeah, no, he had it in his hand. And she was like, Shh. Oh. Yeah, and put it back with Cosmotar. I wasn't paying attention. I was busy <laughs> looking up an answer. Had, uh, it's okay. <sighs> yeah. No remix, do it. Damn. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Yep. You want chain? You should probably chain. Chain, yeah, you can chain to it, bros. You can chain to it. I would chain to it, bros. Chain. chain to it, bros. Chain that fucking uh, card. No. Chain like your life depends on it. Yeah, you can chain. Go ahead. Tell him. Tell, Tell him. him. <laughs> chain. He, he's actually can I chain? Tell him. Yeah, you can. You should tell him. No, you can chain. You can chain. So he's gonna go activate. Uh, Ignition targeting the set card. Mm-hmm. We don't know what it is. Response. Whatever you respond to, whatever you want to chain to. Yeah. Target. He's going to target his, his uh, scythe, obviously. Mm-hmm. But we're not supposed to know that. Because right. he skipped the phases and shit like that. There you go. Target scythe. Chain. Mm-hmm. All right. So chain will resolve backwards. Dark Law will be summoned. Chain resolves. The ignition will destroy the scythe, and the scythe will get banished. So, yep, that's the thing. Still get to set an artifact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, because it has to go to the graveyard. Yeah, it has to go to the graveyard. It says right there. Destroy it and send to the graveyard. Special summon it. So. Nope. No artifact scythe for you. You still get the moral talk though. They just letting it sit. Uh-huh. It's banished. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's banished. And this is banished. And I don't even know why you're clicking this. Like, what is this? No, it's banished. Dark Law is on the field. Oh, I thought this, the Imperial Iron Wars cards can't be banished. Period. Oh, yeah. Imperial Iron Wars can't be banished. Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh, you fucked yourself. Wow, you fucked yourself. Eh, well, it's still not a threat, really. No, I mean, depends on how long the Cosmic Guy can hold on. If he can hold on until he gets himself a, a nice juicy Forerunner or a, or a Dank Destroyer, then he'll be fine. But right now, he can't even get over that Dank Law. So let me get this straight. You Imperial Iron Wall, but then you fuck yourself because of Imperial Iron Wall. That's funny. That's funny. 
That's funny. I mean, you could have went to what Anki or whatever that's called. And, you and see, this is the perfect situation where you have your fucking toolbox. I'm tired of seeing these goddamn fucking. Well, he has an extra deck, so. The, I'm tired of mm-hmm. seeing. I actually see these fucking Cosmo players without a, uh, without an extra deck. So dumb, and he, he can't do it anyway because he can't banish to mm-hmm. summon. So, yep, yep. So, hopefully you draw in the level four. Then <laughs> maybe you can stall out with uh. Oh, no. Tribute Summon? Tribute Summon for Artifact? Yep. Was I right? Was it Bagel? Yeah, I was right. Mm-hmm. Bagel Talk. I was right. I was like, I was like, what the fuck is his mm-hmm. name? I haven't played him in so long. Oh, when I played uh, fucking Constellar Artifacts. Bagel Talk. All know. the pains. Please. Ex- 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 shock him. This, this is going to hurt. Uh, yeah, hopefully. You got that one piece of back row. Please tell me that that one piece of back row is something. If not... This actually will determine the game right here. Right that one, here, yeah. that, This one set card right dark. here, that one background. If it's something to stop the pleadies, then yeah, you got it. But if not, mm-hmm. Hopefully it's like maybe like a mass change so you can at least turn this into like an Anki or something. That would be good too. Just well, please. couldn't he still pop it during when, you, when he draws anyway? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That I wouldn't make a difference anyway because you'd be like, okay, I'll touch you. You know, then when you draw, all they're going to do is go bam. <laughs> Before you top deck into his spell. Oh, yeah. Summoner, but he'll probably end up killing that summoner. So you're still, you're probably still in trouble. It has to be everything absolutely stop this, please. Mm-hmm. You win the book of source. Okay. I, like I said, I, I Hey, really... it, might, it, might, it might do it. That, that's what it looked like. Because he didn't Ooh. even yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> You got the thing to go on top of it. You got that guy. He charger. better have guy charger. You if got you got guy charger on top. Swear to God, if you don't have guy charger. Swear to God. Maybe you're looking like, do I have it? Do I have it? You got it, man. Slap it on top. You game him up. Yep, you got it. Yep, yep. that's it. Yep. Got him. Yeah, no, got him. Got him. I wonder what that card was though. Probably another Imperial. Yeah, Raw. probably. Like he, he he fucked himself in Imperial. I, I didn't even process in my mind. I was like, I was like, what? No, no, your shit's vanished. You're gone. Like in Imperial, and he's just clicking. I was like, what? Like you, you didn't play anything to destroy it. Like well, I don't understand. Like oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> At least you said it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, people. So yeah, there you go. So uh, artifact Cosmos is the new shit. It's gonna it's, gonna it's gonna be the thing that uh, Cosmos are gonna try to do to keep up with the power of uh, PP, full power. Because if you can go ahead and summon that Scythe on them before they can go ahead and you know do the Xe summons, they can't even drop the Infinity on you. Yeah. Now all that other stuff, and of course, uh, you don't want you don't want to hit that artifact shit. So you're not going to twin twist to them, but then you're going to hit the notice. Yeah. I, I think it's actually a not a bad play. You know? It's not. Like I said, I, you, you got to find the right ratio with the Monarch Storm Force because I'm worried about that and the artifacts. You know, of course the Scythe, of course the 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 Moral Attack, but I'm wondering how many be- uh, Beagle Talks, how many Monarch Storm Force in comparison to uh, how many uh, uh, Slipper Slipper Riders. Mm-hmm. You know. And I don't, I don't think you're playing Dogfighter and all the rest of them. Yeah. And would you continue this when you get, you know, your tin can all that? Probably. Uh, mostly to tech. Like some people do the reasoning play. Some people just do hand traps. Some people do the artifacts. So it's just kind of filler pieces. So mm-hmm. will you keep those filler pieces in, or you just be like, all right, tin can and Cosmojo? Guess we'll find out. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So uh, thank you, Randy, for joining me. Mm-hmm. All good. And I will be back Thursday with another D'Angelo commentary joined by You'll Find Out. (laughs) All right, people. Thanks for watching. Peace.